Hey, what's up guys? Joel Adams with Iridesium, and today we are going to be talking about your mesh and how to keep it clean. Making sure your geometry is always nice and clean can be the difference between getting a job or not. A few extra minutes spent to make sure your geometry is clean can save you hours later on. The first thing I would like to get out of the way, what is clean geometry? To put it simply, clean geometry will keep your mesh as low resolution as possible while still looking detailed and working as expected. Clean geometry is going to flow with the shape and or the anatomy of whatever you are modeling, making it easy to change and manipulate later on. I have put together a set of rules to use as guidelines, and if you stick to these rules, you are likely to come out with pretty clean geometry. First rule is use quads. This rule is a bit of a truism. Sometimes it is fine to use a try here or there, and particularly when modeling with booleans, tries are fine. When character modeling, make sure your entire mesh is composed of 100% quads. This will ensure that it is easy to animate and change the mesh later on. There is really nothing wrong with tries if you know how to handle them. Rule two, avoid floating geometry. If a vertex edge or face doesn't serve any purpose, then it's got to be deleted. More geometry that is not connected will make the rigging process quite a bit harder. So keep as much of the geometry as possible connected. If there are two meshes that both serve a purpose and you think they should be part of the same object, that's completely fine. In general though, avoid leaving random floating bits of geometry. Rule three, no double faces, edges, or vertices. Also known as non-manifold geometry, this is when two or more pieces of geometry occupy the same space. Take the extra time to be sure that your mesh has no overlapping geometry. It will save you time in the long run. Rule four, no hidden faces or holes. Similar to double geometry, some may know this as degenerated faces. The problem here arises when a face or hole is collapsed to the point where it looks like a line or surface when it really isn't. This can occur when your geometry is collapsed as in scaled to zero, but still exists. If you follow these rules, you will generally end up with fairly clean geometry. So what is messy geometry? Messy geometry can be anything from a huge tangle of vertices and faces to a mesh that cannot be simplified to quads. How to clean up messy geometry. There are a few ways of cleaning up messy geometry. The two most prominent are using some kind of remesh tool. In Blender, that would be the remesh modifier. And the second would be retopology. In the process of retopology, you will carefully trace your whole mesh with clean geometry. When is it okay to have messy geometry? There are a few situations where it is fine to have messy geometry. If you do a sculpt and you don't plan on rigging it, or doing anything fancy with the textures, then it is completely fine to leave your sculpt with whatever geometry it ends up having. Photogrammetry often produces fairly messy geometry. If you're only going to use the mesh in one scene and you don't plan on instancing it, you will be pretty safe leaving the geometry messy. The power of clean geometry. Keeping your geometry clean is going to give you a lot of power and open you to possibilities you would otherwise not have access to. Clean geometry will allow you to rig your model, add advanced materials and textures, sculpt super high res details without destroying the mesh, add procedural detail to the surface without increasing the resolution of the actual model, among many other things. Clean geometry is going to subdivide well and be easy to edit. However, messy geometry is just, it's, it's just the way it is. You can't change it. That's why you keep your geometry clean, so that you can go back and edit it and manipulate it later on. So, now that you know what clean geometry is, it's time to get out there and start making some. Pick something simple that you want to model, and model it so that it does not break any of the rules I mentioned. You can usually find images of good topology online somewhere if you need reference. 
Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you make something cool, I would love to see it. You can post it in the Iridesium Discord, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. This is Iridesium.